How you doing? It's Howie here with EcoZap Air Conditioning and Efficiency. Today we're going to take a quick look at the long-term effects that floodwaters can have on an air conditioning system. Okay, I know in Houston there are a lot of areas that saw more than three feet of water. This unit here is just about three feet tall and would have been fully submerged in water and that's why we're going to go over the inspection process. However, this is very important. I do not want you guys to do the inspection yourself. Please hire a professional. All right, so here we have a capacitor. What the capacitor does is just provide a little bit of extra juice. This here is a contactor. The contactor provides the high voltage electrical. I think we all know what happens to circuit boards when they get wet. They're pretty much damaged and need to be replaced. The heat pump has a reversing valve right here. Basically what it does is reverses the flow of refrigerant. And then over here, this is your condensing coils. Water and mud will build up in here. So you're gonna wanna have those inspected as well. 